Anytime God gives you a dream, you don't have everything you need to achieve it. If you did, it wouldn't require faith. And the Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith, right? Hey, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I want to talk to you about something I've never shared before, but it's something I know will help you achieve every dream in your heart and every goal that you have pinned on your vision board. <laughs> Especially if your dream seems to be delayed and like it's never going to happen, this is going to help you stay super focused. Now, I want to say a special thank you to my ministry partners and to my subscribers. I'm so grateful for you and I want you to know it. If you haven't subscribed, would you take one second and just push the subscribe button so you can get access to every new video. And I'm telling you, all I'm gonna do is build your faith to achieve your impossible dreams. So thank you so much for subscribing. You know how much I love cheering you on to dream and to never settle where you are. No matter what has happened in your life, God has more for you, more for you to explore, to achieve, to enjoy. And as Jim Rohn used to say, if you don't design your own life plan, chances are you're gonna fall into someone else's plan and guess what they've planned for you? Not much. <laughs> so you are gonna love your download this week because I brought back my entire online vision board course for only $8. Now many of you have been asking if we're gonna offer this again. Well, here it is this week. I'm gonna get you dreaming again, setting goals again, looking forward to waking up again because you have a plan, you have a purpose, you have goals that you need to achieve, right? So if you don't wanna wait till the end of the video to get your entire training that's normally $97, six videos with me, um, you get the book, Dream It, Pen It, Live It, the ebook, you get the e-workbook, all of this for only $8. Then just click the link in the description and get that while it's only eight bucks. Okay. Let me tell you why I'm so passionate about you making a vision board. Now, just listen to what having a vision and not having one will produce in your life. Now, John Maxwell wrote a book about be all you can be, and he shared these startling truths. I just want you to hear this. When Alexander the Great had a vision, he conquered countries. When he lost it, he couldn't conquer a liquor bottle. When David had a vision, he conquered Goliath. When he lost his vision, he couldn't conquer his own lust. When Samson had a vision, he won many battles. When he lost his vision, he couldn't win a battle with Delilah. When Saul had a vision, oh wait, he could conquer kings. When he lost his vision, he couldn't conquer his own jealousy. When Noah had a vision, he could build an ark and help the human race stay on track. When he lost his vision, he got drunk. When Elijah had a vision, he could pray down fire from heaven and chop off the heads of false prophets. When he lost the dream, he ran from Jezebel. It's the dream that keeps us young. It's the vision that keeps us going. Isn't that amazing? So my point is you've got to have a dream, a vision, something that you are aiming to achieve. But what about when it's taking so long, years are going by, it looks like nothing is happening, how do you stay hopeful, optimistic, full of faith that one day it will happen? Well, here at the ministry, you know, when we're planning big events and outreaches, they get pretty costly. And sometimes you look at the vision, you look at the expenses and you flat out don't have it yet. For example, this very week, we are taking my icing women's event to London, England for the first time ever this weekend. Let me give you a quick plug, ladies. If you are in the area or you've always wanted to go to London, get your ticket today and we will have the sweetest event in the UK. Or you can watch the entire conference online. So it's this Friday, May 26 and 27, Friday, Saturday. Just click the link in the description right now and you can get your ticket to Icing London. But the reason I'm telling you about this big dream of taking Icing to London this week is because when my team shows me the budget, of what it's gonna to cost to host an entire event on the other side of the world, the staff flying over there, the hotels, the band, the venue, the media, my goodness, the cupcakes. <laughs> you just think, how are we gonna afford something this big? I mean, we're not Joyce Meyer size, okay? But let me tell you real quick, anytime God gives you a dream, you don't have everything you need to achieve it. If you did, it wouldn't require faith. And the Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith, right? 
but you normally don't have the money, the resources, the connections to make the dream happen. So what do you do? Well, like with us, taking Icing Women's Event to London, it's expensive, it's risky, it's a leap of faith, not just a step. But here's some success advice from God's Word. Listen to this. The Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Well, how did David encourage himself? Well, when he was facing Goliath, which I just happen to have a little slingshot here. When he was facing Goliath, this giant that looked so intimidating and overwhelming, you know what he did? He reminded himself that God gave him the power to kill a lion. Remember that? Who does that? A little shepherd boy killed a lion by himself? I've been on a safari in South Africa when a lion walked right by us. I can't even fathom that a young little shepherd boy killed a lion. And then David sat there and reminded himself that God gave him the strength to kill. It doesn't look like a very intimidating bear, but he killed a bear. Now, when I was in Alaska last year, I kept looking for bears. When I got to the airport, I saw one encased in a glass box. It wasn't alive, but it was massive. David killed a bear with his bare hands. But what was David doing? He was rehearsing previous victories to build himself up. That if God could empower him to kill those two massive animals, then why in the world would God not empower him to kill Goliath? Well, do you know that's exactly what you and I have to do to stay super focused with our dreams? You know, with Icing London, I remind myself that when I launched out and hosted Icing here in Dallas at the Toyota Music Factory years ago, that was the biggest expense I had ever had for a conference. And guess what? God provided. When I did it again the next year, God provided. Even in 2020, during the pandemic, we still kept our conference at that big venue and God provided. So why in the world would he not cover this event in London? But what am I doing? I'm rehearsing previous victories, or you could say, I'm encouraging myself in the Lord my God. Well, you can do the same thing. When you create your vision board and you look at those pictures, of what God has done that looks so impossible, or the ones that you're believing for that looks so impossible, so far away, so ridiculous. Do you know that you can kick it up a notch by creating an achievement board? You might say an achievement board, what's that? Well, I heard John Asareff talking about how he hangs his vision board in his home gym. So every day he is surrounded by his dreams. In fact, would y'all hold on one second? Let's well, see, would you get me that vision board? I was supposed to have two up here and I forgot to tell y'all. Hang on, please stand by. You have to see this. Thank you, Lucy. So look, here's a vision board of what you're believing for. Let's just say this is your vision board from the past where it's dreams you've achieved. Well, John Asareff talks about how in his home gym, he leaves up his boards from the past and he calls them achievement boards. Why? Because after he looks at his vision board of big dreams, then he looks at his achievement board and realizes what can happen when he's clear, when he's focused on achieving his goals, look what God can do. So I want you to think about this. This just reinforces your belief that no matter how impossible the current dreams are, at one time, every dream on the achievement board was just as impossible. And look what God can do when you dream. Does that make sense? So I wanna encourage you, start an achievement board or a book and put photos of impossible dreams that have happened in the past. The prayers God answered, the goals that were checked off. Just let it build your faith that if God can do it once, He can do it again. All God needs to see from you is faith. So I hope this encourages you to dream again, to dream as big as you possibly can and show God you trust Him by encouraging yourself in the Lord. Now don't miss out on my most popular online vision board course where I walk you through the whole process. Six fun training videos, my complete ebook and e-workbook called Dream It, Pen It, Live It. You get all of this for only $8. So just click the link in the description and you can get started today. And I'll be right there with you cheering you on to live your dreams.